sup sup everyone welcome back to another video we are once again here with the beautiful chat amazing spectacular group of people who witnessed me just absolutely get shafted by the rng of this game earlier the stream but you know we're now talking about yellen i think uh for the most part this shouldn't come as a surprise to people and yes before we go any further i know some people already comment down below i also was taken aback by this as well when chat told me saying this number here 9.49 9 million is actually Yellen and Zhao combined, right? It's not just Yellen. Let's maybe not go so far as to say, you know, Yellen is the undisputed queen, you know, best character in the game, must pull, can't skip level of character. No, 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 no. She is a great character, but maybe these numbers and statistics are a little bit skewed for the fact of, uh, I guess, the, of these articles also clickbait, right? These people need to make money somehow. So, with that said, why is this so? Like, if we just take a look at what about Ayato? Why didn't Ayato and Venti, right? Venti's, you know, Venti's rerun pulled in huge numbers. Look at that, 8.1. How come Ayato and Venti combined, right? This is Venti's essentially third banner. Couldn't beat Yellen and Zhao. So there has to be some value to Yellen, right? So we're going to talk about this because I think a lot of people don't really understand it when people say you know, Yellen is a great character. Oh, you're a great character. She's just a five-star Shinchu. But as I was talking with chat, I think most people don't realize what they are saying when they're saying, oh, it's just a five-star Shinchu. What do you what do you mean by that? You guys understand what you're saying right now what is shinchu shinchu is one of the best off field damage options that you can get in the game in fact many people have him rated at the highest of tiers uh, when it comes to character proficiency damage output and just overall usefulness top tier s tier and you're telling me a five star version of this character which basically means it's better than shinchu at c6 meaning there is no way shinchu can get to this level because if you are saying this character at c0 is better than shinchu at c6 then you're essentially saying shinchu can never reach this level right because he's already at c6 he's maxed out so do you realize what that means that means you're saying an s tier character has another character above it whose minimum potential is beating out this character's maximum potential and that and this character is an s tier character right i hope that makes sense because that puts into perspective why so many people are gunning after yellen and i'll say this as many times as i need to i think yellen is a really good character and i think there will be a lot of people flooding to get her on her rerun it's unfortunate that hoyoverse has placed her in this position right now because you guys know who is coming next say with me Ka -ka 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 Kazuha. That's right, Kazuha is coming up next. What can we do? Free to plays, small spenders, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You really can't say you made the right decision until potentially a couple months down the patch. So I don't want to create any FOMA. I don't think there is a right decision here. It doesn't matter if you want yelling. It doesn't matter if you're saving for Kazuha. Both of these characters are going to be so damn good for your account that you can't go wrong with either of them. So what are we here to discuss then? I want to discuss the difference between the eastern perspective of Genshin Impact versus the western. So if you guys take a look at this, this one is the Japanese sales for the man. And I'm assuming this is also including both the Yellen banner and the Zhao banner. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. So this character does not overtake Raiden. Uh, let's be honest. I don't think any banner really is going to overtake the Raiden banner for, for a little while to let you know the truth of it. But I do think she probably can take a good second place over the, the Venti Ren. I honestly don't think Zhao is selling for more than 4 million. I think Zhao is probably selling for closer to maybe like 1, 1. 1.5 million. So, so would put Yellen either second or third, which is still very a very respectable position um but why is there so much emphasis like japan is topping sales chart cn is topping sales chart oh, and that's just like this is just on ios i remember understand that if you go look to the west there's a lot of people in the west saying oh you know yellen is it's okay she's good yeah like I, i'm not saying people in the west are not saying she's good people are admitting she's a good character oh but kazuha's way better you know oh don't get yellen kazuha will be 
like way, 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 way better. Like it's almost like Kazuha is multiple tiers above Yellen. It's not the case, people. The distance between Yellen and Kazuha is far smaller than people in the West make it out to be. And I understand why. It's because we're so used to Kazuha's strength. Yellen's potential is so much more hidden uh, in the sense that we don't know how far she can go when it comes to meta, when it comes to team building, when it comes to team options right kazuha has been around facilitating like multiple teams like a whole variety of elemental based teams and yellen right now is struggling i guess to, to a degree to find great versatility in a lot of meta teams i think that's another thing we have to talk about is the West focuses a lot on the current meta. What is currently available for us? We need concrete. We don't want to think about what's potentially coming patch 2-3 because that's nothing that we can really evaluate, right? That's not concrete enough. Theory crafters are probably working overdrive to th theorize what Yellen is truly capable of. Like, what about this scenario? What about that scenario? What about this team? What about that team? Nowadays, a lot of people are playing Yellen with Shinchu. Well, look at that. A character that has come in supposedly to replace or to provide an alternative now somehow ended up on the same damn team as a character. We need to start thinking of ways that we can get outside of the box that constrains our understanding of the game. Genshin is constantly evolving and look at at metas back one year ago and look at team metas today it's wildly different options start to appear one character such as kokomi can completely throw off the balance and and ways we we approach building characters yelling scales off of hp it's, like, it's just one thing after another we have to understand that in order to get ahead of the game in order to get ahead of the dev team if you truly want to make sure your resources don't go to waste you need to start thinking about this game that like away from what's currently and readily available now, what's the next step? Dendro, Sumeru. What could possibly happen in Sumeru with Dendro that could affect the game in a way that we currently don't expect it? For example, reactions, right? You have to think about reactions. I've said this before. Do you guys think Anemo will react with Dendro? Do you guys think Geo will react with Dendro? What about Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, Electro? How do those reactions affect the game? If Anemo doesn't synergize with Dendro, they have zero reaction, no swirl. What are you going to do with your Kazuha? What, what about the Dendro Archon comes out? What is a Dendro Archon going to do? I know a lot of people will go look at leaks, so you'll find this out very, very uh, early on. But we're multiple patches away, so you can't really know right now. I think why Yellen is so valuable in the East as opposed to the West is because the East is constantly trying to look far into it. Sure, sometimes they make mistakes. Sometimes they end up missing the mark. But I think evaluating Yellen as a character that's kind of bridging us between the current meta and the dendro meta is the right take because why would hoyoverse spend so much time to research and release content and characters multiple patches in the past they should be striving towards the future and that's why i think looking at her ascension for passive talent is such a great way to to recognize where the beauty of yellen is is because they specifically choose to ramp up all damage type they could have been very selective with that but why maybe they want to give us an option for off-field damage that it's just all encompassing throughout all teams throughout all damage options doesn't matter elemental physical whatever team slots are also very restrictive nowadays so yellen being able to do much more than just just like off field damage support speaks volumes to where hoyo versus headspace is as well i think that moving into dendro yellen will continue to be a powerful character and she's only going to get better and better my concerns with yellen originally now nowadays don't really exist anymore i think hoyo versus has done a great job evaluating this character and pushing her out at C0 nonetheless to be so impactful. And I think she's going to be one of the higher value characters we have gotten and she will be getting uh, until likely the Dendro Archon, right? That's my prediction. And I think these sales numbers support that statement. I don't think people are just stupid enough to get blindsided by waifu like if you guys want to talk waifu why is yai miko sitting at 3.7 million it's not just about armpits it's not just about waifu it's about true and actual power usefulness and 
how she affects the current state of the game. Numbers don't lie, and certainly money don't lie. The, the term, put your money where your mouth is. I have, you know, I have C0 Yellen. I even got her weapon. I'm ready. Good luck to people who want to pull Kazuha, though. I do think Kazuha is still going to have a place in the meta. You can't go wrong with Kazuha. I'm just going to say that much. Okay, so with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this kind of got you thinking a little bit. The goal is not to get you to have any FOMO, but to get you to think more about the future as opposed to just looking at what you got right here in front of you because Genshin is going to move along quite fast once Sumeru and Dendro drops and I don't want anyone to get left in the dust holding their head regretting their decisions with that said thank you guys for watching thank you guys for chat thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given and best of luck summoning I'll see you guys next time till then urge you all to stay safe and 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 come on chat come on and happy with <laughs> peace peace yeah stay safe peace peace you know don't take don't take these uh opinions too seriously cross reference cross reference bye